home, sweet home. Everything is just the same. Why come back? Phew, Sammy, you could have at least helped me. Almost all of this is your stuff. Sorry, Susie, but I'm so sad that I don't want to do anything. Just lie down. Oh, what bothers you, poor little slime? I don't know. It's just the vacation ended so quickly. Oh, sorry, Sammy, but it always happens like that. Yeah! At least now we have a lot of cool memories. Want to have a look? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We will never have that much cool time again. Hey, but we can arrange one more vacation right here. Do you feel the rhythm? Get involved. This is it. I will make my own beach. Let me pour some sand for a beachy vibe. What if instead of making a mess, we painted something beautiful with it? Painting with sand? You kidding? I want to try it, but I still want my vacation back. So, I have an idea for a design for our drawing. I just don't know where to start. I found this thing. I'm not sure what it's for, but maybe it can come in handy? Great. This is just what I need. Let's start with the purple sand. Would you just look at this color? I've loved it since I was a little girl. It reminds me of tasty grape soda and cute little violets. We need to make the outline a little smoother. To do that, I will use a plastic coffee cup cap. So, do you like it, Sammy? Oh, this doesn't help my vacation mood. I will probably try something else. Well, it's up to you, and I will keep going. This bright blue color totally reminds me of the water in the ocean we were swimming in. Ah, oh, perfect. We need to work up every new level of sand and remove the excess, like this. Okay, this will do. I'm going to call it color sand therapy. So the green color comes next. We will make one more sand circle with it just like we did before. Just a little bit more, and that's it. Now I need something smaller to even out the edges. The first component of every successful vacation is delicious, refreshing drinks. Ugh, come on, why don't you open up? Huh? Oh, this cap is just right. I will help you, Sammy. And you will help me. Here you go. Ah, this looks so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to try it. It's not even close to what we had on vacation. Oh, that's right. We had some great drinks there. But nothing beats freshly squeezed orange juice. Speaking of which, this color just screams orange. Ha <laughs> ha. And the red color comes next. We're nearly getting a rainbow here. I don't know about you, but I always associate yellow with the sun. Let it be in the middle. Now, I need a comb. I'll show you how to use it to make our drawing more interesting. And I need a distraction from my vacation reminiscence. Nah, if I needed a helmet, I'd buy a motorcycle. Next! Ah, yes! This is the style I've been looking for all these years! I feel like the thoughts of vacation are leaving my body already. Hey! What a nice day for a ride. Oops, sorry, Sammy. So, where was I? Oh, right. Using a comb, you can make interesting patterns in the sand. Great. Now let's try something new. These wavy lines make our drawing look like a flower. See, it's very beautiful. I only want to make the edges of our drawing a little neater. This is a cooking ring. Hey, it's almost the same as erasing extra lines on a pencil drawing. Let's keep going. It's high time to expand our pattern. Now I want to turn them into petals. I just need to find the right tool. All right, vacation attempt number two. I want to make the famous Sam cake. Huh? Huh? Oh, you're my secret, precious. 
An important thing is not to overdo it. Thank you. Hey, wait, I need to measure it. Ah, whatever. I've made these cupcakes so many times, I could do that with my eyes closed. What bad could happen anyway? So much. Ah, that's why I needed a measuring spoon. Oh wow, I guess the measuring spoon truly is very important. And not just in a kitchen. Look how great the petals turned out. Now I want to do the same with the red sand. Here we go. Just a few gentle movements. I really want to see how this blue color will look here. Not bad, I guess. And for the red petals, let's use orange sand. Check this out, friends. It really is a masterpiece. Amazing. So, how can I help you, Sam? My doctor said I need a vacation. Here are all the documents. But you just returned from there. Yes, but it wasn't enough. And any attempt I made to distract myself turned into a disaster. Oh well, I see. Okay then. Sorry guys, but I really need to borrow this. Do you see what I have to deal with at work? I would sign your leave, but that was my only pen. No! I can't do this any longer. I'm going to the mountains to meditate. That's actually a nice idea. And this picture is like a meditation for me. I want to add more colorful sand piles here and there because I want to give our pattern a little bit more contrast. Our sand picture already looks very beautiful, right? And thanks to Sammy, I now know exactly what we will do next. I am going to use sand of all the colors that we already used before. Now, if we press the cap a little and turn it slightly, this way, we will get pretty spirals like this. Making more leaves will be just perfect for our floral theme. Let's turn our drawing into a real flower meadow. Now let's dilute our bright colors with some white. Ah, that meditation did relax me a bit. Wow! Your picture looks even more beautiful up close. It is so mesmerizing. Well, thank you for the high praise, but it is not done just yet. By the way, Sue, can you finish it by yourself? I'm kind of hungry. Sure thing. Have a nice meal for me, too. Here we go. We should have an exhibition! Oh, yeah. Are you kind again, Cupcake? Actually, since everyone is relaxed again, I want to admit that not for a second did I stop thinking about tasting a slime. Wait, what? No! I need a break! No way! 
Goku, I hope you enjoyed our video today, even though it got a little out of hand. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and see you very soon. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Today, Sam and I are in the mood for coloring. Come on and join us. All right, Suzy. Let's see what new things you know that I don't know yet. Oh, Sammy, get ready to be impressed. Whoosh. Ah, you want me to work on the same picture? Okay, then. Not quite yet, actually. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on to your hat, Mr. Great Artist. But why do you need a scalpel? We are going to make a kind of stencil from this sketch. Remember to always be careful with sharp objects, guys, and try to work neatly, of course. There's no need to cut out everything, just the few most remarkable elements. I wonder where this is going. Ugh. Give us a thumbs up if you do too, guys! Okay, the brows, the eyes, and the lips are done. And we don't need this big part as well. Whoop. Now we will simply put our stencil on top of our sketch. This way. Uh-huh! The cutout parts perfectly align with the same elements on the sketch! That's right! And just to be safe, let's secure the whole thing with paper clips. Here we go! Shiver me chatters, I think I got it! Now we're gonna simply paint those parts with a brush, right? Well, you've got the point! Only instead of a paintbrush, we'll use this! Shiver me chatters! This is gonna be fun! What do you say about all of these colors? Looking cool, huh? Holy cannoli! Let me come up closer! Alright, you can proceed now, Sue! <laughs> Let's roll! Now, Sammy, check this out! I bet it wasn't as boring for you as simple coloring would have been, huh? Are you kidding me? That was awesome! I wonder what else you've got up your sleeve. Ooh. The next in our coloring workshop is this young lady. Huh! She's too blurry to be colored with the paint roller, don't you think so? You're right. This time, we're gonna do some sketching. The best part of this technique, guys, is that you don't have to be too precise. Just place your marker against the paper and create. Use any colors that you want. Switch the width of the lines you're drawing by switching the chisel tip to the brush tip and back. Wow, what knowledge! The chisel tip will work best for the eyebrows if we use it like this. Up, 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 up. We can even add some shades and mix colors. Here we go. Okay, Sue, I want to try to do that too. Ah, what a bright color! Awesome! Ha, ah, I love that! Sammy? Where'd you go? I've got a terrific idea, Sue! Finish that sketch without me! Oh! <laughs> Sammy and his ideas! And there is even more yet to come! Sammy, we're waiting here! Ah, oh, come on, where did he go? Oh. What? Where did this come from? Oh, sorry, Sue, I had to run to the hardware store. And why exactly did you get this? Please don't tell me that your idea was to paint the walls in your room again. Actually, uh, yeah, the walls do bother me. But that's not the point! Better check this out! Are these watercolors? But I thought we were going with unusual coloring today. Stop being suspicious and make the big paintbrush rainbowy already! Okay, okay. In that case, the red color comes first. Guys, you can use any colors you want! While we prefer the Roy G. Biv palette. You know it, right? 
Well done, Susie. Now just make one nice diagonal stroke. Your wish is my command. Here we go. Guys, would you look at this? Amazing! See? I told you, my idea was brilliant! That's true. I really like this picture. Do you guys? Then give us a thumbs up. But how about something a little bit more complicated? Like a trip to Paris, for example. She built me chadels! Should I go packing? <laughs> no, I'm gonna need your help here. Let's give this girl a remarkable hairdo. We need this. We're also gonna use a sponge brush like this one. And acrylic paints of our favorite colors. By the way, guys, we love painting and coloring. And there are a bunch of videos about that on our channel. Oh, you should totally check them out. Ooh. All right, people, let's get started. The paint should just go straight through the stencil. Light and fast touches will seal the deal. An important thing here is to work sequentially. Sue is doing the very first layer. And I'm gonna make the second one! We'll carefully take the first stencil off of our picture and let it dry. Only after that can we move on to the next step. are red, violets are blue. Slime Sam with a sponge a great picture can do! <laughs> you see? Easy peasy. Nice poem, Sammy. And well done with these clouds and a moon. But we've got to move forward. There are three more layers to go. It must be to fill the wonderful city of Paris in your hair. You don't say, Sammy. Now this little Eiffel Tower will help us finish a few tiny details. And that's it. Watercolors will help us out with the makeup. And voila! A wonderful French lady portrait is finished. Oh, Champs-Élysées! Oh, Champs-Élysées! And if you want to know what's gonna come next over here, then you had better stay with us, don't go anywhere! Welcome back, guys. And here's one more girl without a hairdo so far. What are we gonna draw in her hair? New York? London? Tokyo? <laughs> Actually, this time we'll go with some sparkly glitter. But first, we need to draw the outline of her hairdo with glue. Here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna go get all the sparkles for my secret stash! I know Sammy loves shiny things. <laughs> Guys, you don't have to really be precise here. And by the way, you can make anything else sparkly on this portrait. I'm gonna add some glue on the girl's lips as well. Who's ready to see my precious collection of glitter? Haha! -ha. Wow, Sammy, you really brought everything you had. And note that not everything is pink here. <laughs> well, in that case, I want to start with the darkest hue. Here we go. Guys, you know that you can totally follow your inspiration with this craft, right? Oh, yeah. Get creative, and you will get a one of a kind. Very beautiful and sparkly portrait. Susie, do you mind? A little bit over here. And just a pinch right there. I like this type of art. <laughs> oh, I really like how this portrait turned out. Holy cannoli! But you're not saying that we're done here, right? I want to keep coloring! <laughs> there is one more technique that I've been long wanting to try. You should protect your tables for this, guys. Meet our last girl. Ooh, she looks like a girl I knew back in Tibidaba. Wait a second. Is that all drawn in a single line? Yup, cool, right? Awesome! 
In a few minutes, we'll try to repeat it in one single line as well. But first, let's prepare this special watercolor paper for the coloring. The secret is not to spare the water, because watercolors really love it. That's why before you start working, you should secure your picture against the table with double-sided tape. And that part is done. Now we're just going to apply different watercolors onto the paper, creating a few random splashes and blots, like this. We'll use a brush to kind of direct the way they smear. Ah, that's a very professional color blending, Suzanne. <laughs> Thank you. Now it's time for my personal challenge. Just make sure that everything's dry before you do this, guys. Gentlemen, why don't we let Sue finish her last piece of art for today? And in a couple of seconds, we will take a look at everything! Uh-huh, yes! I'm taking this one to my bedroom! Hey, that one will look good there, too! Well, Sammy, I guess your day was not so bad after all, huh? And what are these all about? Don't you get it? I'm planning what wall we should hang all the portraits on! And you're taking everything to your room? Nope, the glitter girl goes to the kitchen. Come on, will you help me hang them or not? Okay, okay. Guys, thanks for being with us today. Support this video with a thumbs up if you like drawing and coloring just as much as we do. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos with Sue and Sam. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>
We can even take two portions in one movement. Minimum ingredients and maximum results. Right, Sue? Correct. <laughs> but what if you need to change the color? What should you do? As always, you just need to change the brush. <laughs> Let's draw a face. It's very easy. Considering the colors, I can conclude it's a scarlet macaw! Wow, Sammy! How did you know? I'm really impressed. I'm full of surprises, Sue. You may not know this, but I'm an experienced bird watcher! <laughs> Where did you get so much time for all of your hobbies? I'm able to look at two different things simultaneously, like a scarlet macaw can! Wow, I could use this skill when I need to do my homework but I want to watch a movie. Guys, stay tuned if you want to know what's next. So it's my napkin! Sam calling Sue over! Guys, I need your answer! Do you copy? Oh, I got carried away. Sorry. Oh, guys, would you look at how beautifully these two colors are mixing together. A quick life hack for you guys. If your paint is too thick, you can dilute it with water. But if it's too runny, you can mix it with talcum. And talcum. Okay, I got it! I need to write that down. Sammy, maybe you want to try this too? But you're doing so great there! Guys, just look at those precise movements! If we mix blue and white colors, we'll get light blue! This will add some volume and brightness. Sue, how do you like my new image? I probably should look the part. You want to make life brighter as I see. It seems like I'm petting a canvas as if it's a hamster. <laughs> Yeah, Coffee's worried that we could bring a parrot like this one home. I guess you need this, Sue. Here you go. Thanks. You always take care of me. What would I do without you? I just don't want our painting to look dirty, Sue. Oh, really? <laughs> Sue, stop. Jokes aside, we need to finish this craft. Okay, why don't we add some dark hues at the sides like this? Well, Sammy, it's just clay. You can try that. Shiver me jitters! How do they actually eat this? Sammy, what are you saying? Clay is inedible! But I read that scarlet macaws eat clay! Ugh! Yes, to neutralize plant poisons, they have special ferments for it. Thank Jibadaba, I'm not a scarlet macaw then! <laughs> Guys, we're at the finish line. We'll see the result very soon. All we have left is to draw the bird's body and tail. The technique is absolutely the same. We take some paint and make strokes. Sue, make room for me! I'm checking out the place! Sammy, go away! You don't understand! I heard that you need to buy a really big cage for a scarlet macaw! Sammy, no. We've already discussed it. We're not gonna buy a scarlet macaw! But it's so cute! Pretty please! One. I'll draw our parrot a tail and it's not going to be so sad not having him at home. You're right. We already have so many pets. I don't want them to get jealous. Phew! That was close. <laughs> Sue! Did you know that there are so many macaw species and they are all so bright? Great green, blue and yellow, blue throat. I think Sammy's really enjoying making parrot crafts. Don't worry, Sammy. Now you have the technique, so you can draw whatever macaw you want. Guys, by the way, you don't need to copy me. You can choose your favorite colors for this craft. There are so many beautiful birds in the world that we need to make a schedule. Let's see. Well, we could draw a colibri on this day. Here we'll draw a swan. And this day, maybe a sparrow. Oh, wait. No, let it be a mandarin duck. Oh, Sammy and his vivid imagination. Oh, Sue, how's it going with the painting? We're almost done. 
I bet the guys can't wait to see the result. I think red will look great on the tail. If you agree, give us a thumbs up, guys. Painting with your fingers is a great way to spend time with your friends and parents. Sue, can you sell me a hat? I need it. Is it a dress-up day today? I'm just trying to find a proper outfit for a Parisian exhibition. What? An exhibition in Paris? When is it gonna be? We've gotta draw a lot of paintings then. Then you take care of the drawings and I'll choose the outfit. In the meantime, we're making the last touches. Here we go! Woohoo! Guys, it's finally ready! I'm so happy! I totally love this drawing! Wow, that's really something! Guys, do you want to see our beautiful craft in all its glory? Then follow me! Well, Sammy, is this okay or not? Let me see. Hmm, no, I think you should move it a bit to the left. Or not, I don't know. Let's choose another spot. <sighs> okay. How is it now? Interesting. Looks good, but let's move it to another place, please. And now? Sammy, my hands are already tired. Let's see. Hmm, ah, it's great. This is the best spot of all. Finally! I thought we'd never hang it! <laughs> yeah! Our picture is so cool! I could look at this parrot all day long! I can understand that, Sammy! It came out really great! Guys, if you want to see more painting videos, give us a thumbs up! Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss our next video and subscribe to our channel! Uh-oh! I'm blocking the view!